Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, Larry. Welcome back. What, what Larry. levels, Larry? Can you um, check his status? Yeah, I was gonna show you. I was gonna show you his PSI. He's got life up in healing. Oh, that's nice. So he's already got life up in healing to to beta, which is really nice. And then he's got some attack ones too, but you, I can't show you that outside of battle. Uh, and then his status here, he's level fifteen. No, oh, that's nothing. Uh, one hundred seven and thirty one. Um, hopefully he'll level up pretty quick Ooh, though. Burpee. Oh, oh here we go. go. Yeah. So offense, he's got freeze up to beta, thunder up to beta, life appealing shield. No fire. Shield sigma. No, no, dude. It's actually it's cool. Why? Um, Why is that cool? You'll see. You'll see what else he gets, but I'm not gonna spoil it. All right. So let's head. Uh, Let's head back. Does he have PK Cross? That's it. No, he doesn't have PK Cross, but that would be really cool. I think PK Cross might be in, uh, probably in Mother 3. I don't know. Who I'm knows? I'm not sure. I don't know. I actually have not played Mother 3. I got, uh, Earthbound Beginnings. I think I mentioned that already, yeah. but I got <clears> Earthbound <throat> Beginnings, and I haven't played much of it, but, uh... It's oh, that's because we've been playing this. Yeah, it's got a lot of the same, um... Type of thing. Same type of things as this game, yeah. This game is just, like, a really... Like a, a much better version of that game in a lot of ways. Which it's uh, that's uh, it's an interesting. It's the mark concept. of a good like it's the mark of a good uh, progression though, like a good sequel. Uh, do I don't say, know. Do, it's, you do a lot of the. I don't. I mean, that's kind of like Evil Dead and Evil Dead Two though. I mean, Evil Dead Two is technically a sequel, but it's kind of like it just basically is a better version. Yeah. 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 I think. Prince Larry. I shall relay a message to you from eternity. The evil entity that controls all wickedness is preparing for the greatest struggle of all time. The only the ones who can challenge the entity are three girl. boys and one girl. One named Wazgi is the leader of the four. One of the boys is you, Prince Larry. Now that you've completed your training, search out Wazgi once. For all beings, for the earth herself, I pray for growth in the might of the four. Sixteen, oh, there you go. dude. Sixteen. Is he got, oh, is babe. He gonna, is he gonna keep on going up? Oh, babe, shield B, oh, 17. He's gonna, he's gonna match your level? No, no, no. That'd be really Teleport awesome. Teleport A, 18. He goes up quite a bit, though. Teleport B, so he gets to 18, learns teleport B. Oh, uh, and then he teleport teleports B, to dude. You. Yeah, dude, have you seen, you haven't seen teleport B yet, have no. you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, we have. I've done that. Do we have it? Yeah. Oh, okay. My name is Larry, I'm the one who will fight beside, beside you. you. I'm the servant of Wazki. I will obey Wazki. Wazki, my, my life is in your hands. Her life is in your hands, dude. My life is, dude. Don't say that, man. Dude. Well, finally, we got. You food. realize what this means? Got Larry. Seventy episodes in. We finally, Larry joined <laughs> you. We are finally a team. Seventy episodes in, we are finally a team, dude. We're look full at us. Squad now. Look at us. We look awesome. Power Rangers United. Let's do. Uh, let's do the museum now, before we progress any further. Dude, look at us walking. Look at us walking down the street, dude! It's right. my crew! The crew! Two live crew! I'm gonna save it. And I'm gonna call mom, too, because why not? Yeah, just in case, you never know. You never know. You never know. You, you never, never know. know. I, hey, I Ma! Ma, what Ma. you doing, Ma? I'm getting Ma. homesick! How hello, hello, is that USK? I can hardly hear you. It sounds like you're calling from the moon or something. You know, okay, that's great. Looks like I gotta go. I'm trying to give Biscuit Lip a flea bath. Biscuit. All right, cool. Thanks, Mom. And then what else do we have? Nothing. Okay. None. Whole bunch of none. Right now, part of the Scaraba Culture Museum is being remodeled. Do you yeah. still want to enter? Yes, please. Three dollars per person. Study Stay hard. Study hard. Three dollars per person. Okay. Study hard. What is this? Oh, Ram cool. Raisin the Third's Casket. Ram Raisin. <laughs> <laughs> Toten, Toten Carmen's, Carmen's casket. Oh, Toten Carmen. Toten Carmen's pencil box. When I saw a chubby kid about your age here. You look like he was awfully wealthy. He was being very extravagant. Toten I saw a chubby kid. Oh, no. Thank you. Where on earth could he be? <laughs> Toten Carmen's lunchbox. Toten Carmen San Diego, dude. Training pot. <clears throat> Do we talk to this guy? Mumble, mumble. Why would Mr. Spoon from the Foresight Museum try to call me? But he just wants to brag about something. Oh, shit. Well, let him try. I wonder what he wants to tell me. Bye. I dare him to try and upstage me. Oh, oh pardon, pardon me. me. I, was I was just talking, talking to myself. myself. <coughs> Ooh, mysterious noise, dude. Interesting. The, uh... I wonder if he has dinosaur bones. Mm. This room is being remodeled, so I can't show it to you. Oh, oh the Samurai, Samurai Kid, kid is, is here. here. Will he be giving me that gem? Yes. You're such a good student. I'm impressed by your passion for learning. Come in. I don't know if Did that he was have a gem? I don't know if that was what we were supposed to do, but I guess so. Excellent. Do you feel like you're really experiencing this great historical period? 
The other day, a rich kid came by Summers by helicopter. He also took a picture of the hieroglyphs. Yeah, I got lots of money for me. <laughs> Dude, battle time. You get to see Pooh in action. Get to see Larry in this action. Shan- uh, Larry, sorry. Who the hell's Larry, Pooh? I don't know. I... Pooh Pooh Platter. Pooh Pooh Platter. Who names a, who names a kid Pooh? N- not us. <laughs> not us. Why are you rocking? You don't need to rock in this. You think they should just bash it? Okay. Just bash. Let's see where we're I'm gonna show you. Go. Uh, no, I guess we'll just bash it and see. Well, Larry, I'm, I bet he's not gonna hit very hard. Oh, what? There we go. Ooh, nice. Shatter man. Ten. Ten. So he does like nothing physically. He, even like if he has a weapon, he's not a very strong physical guy. Well, okay, so the only weapon that he can get. Yeah. His uh, one in 128 drop from some enemies in a later level. Yeah. Are, so, are we going for it? I mean, we can if you want to. Yeah. We, we can, can absolutely it. try. We'll montage it. We can, yeah, dude. I, that would be pretty cool. Okay, cool. That that wasn't bad. And we'll, yeah, we'll we do, can we'll, we can montage as we grind out a shit ton of levels for in preparation we'll, we'll of the just end do of the it. Yeah, we'll just do it for. Yeah. I don't know, maybe I'll do Wrecking Ball. We'll do Wrecking Ball. Wrecking Ball. Or maybe a time. share, a couple, a a couple share. of share songs. If I could turn back time. Or that I, I would be. If I could squeeze some limes. Dude, Larry's hitting uh, If I could magnet. make lemonade. I got a magnet. Cool. So you can actually, um... Go the whole game without fighting these guys. I stir in all the- Oh, what do you mean? Oh shit. So you're not supposed to do this? No, you- you can't. Like, you're supposed to. Like, it's part of the thing. But it's possible... Why? To go the entire game without fighting these guys. I don't know, it's just one of those- one of those enemies. Like, these are, like, story-based enemies that yeah. are persistent, you know? Yeah. But they're the- like, they're the only ones you don't have to fight. That's weird. It's kinda cool. I don't get, like, the have-to-fight things. They come after you, or are they just really No, but slow? I mean, like, you don't have to actually go into this room, I don't think. Oh. But it's, like, part of the story. Bash! Right. Not with Larry, dude. He does, like, ten. Nice! Cheese! Come on, Cheese. Come on, Cheese. Again? Larry did freeze, yeah. Larry and Kagu oh, both Oh, they freeze. both did freeze? They both froze? Yep. That's the best cool off. Move. I wouldn't do... Double cool like off. Mommy oh, rap. Mommy rap. Ooh, Wazgi. 44, Ooh. man. Everyone else is so much lower than him. Cheese is 37. Cheese just hit Dude, 37. Larry, Larry's 23. Larry is so far behind. He is. But he'll catch We're up. totally playing this like you play Pokemon. <laughs> and I mean, it's not, Larry read the hieroglyphs. To fight against the invaders, we built the pyramid fortress. However, our efforts were futile and we lost. Nonetheless, our pyramid was protected by the gods of Scaraba. There the invaders go. will be reborn every every millennium and will attack again. Even now, the invaders hide beyond space and time and build their the evil stronghold. stronghold. A place out of time is beyond the dark and even further beyond the lost underworld. underworld. The deep darkness is shrouded. It is without light. Like the lost world. The oh, Jeff maybe. Only one with the Hawkeye can pierce the dark. The Sphinx now Hawkeye. watches over everything, waiting for the coming of a truly brave hero. Is Ness look at, Hawkeye look because at this he's... Hawkeye Pierce from yeah. Ash? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think he is, dude. Look at this. Can you remember that? I can. No. I've got it. It's no. in my noodle. No. It's in my noodle. Dance in front of the Sphinx. Rad, dude. Dance in front of the Sphinx. Ooh. Wazki, let's go to Scraba. The pyramid is the key. Cool, thanks. Wait, Wait one, one second. second. Here's a picture of the hieroglyph. Oh, there you go. Just for you. It's a reward for studying so hard. So you've got the, you've got it. I've got the hieroglyphs. Yeah. Use it in your human civilization class. Ha ha ha. Me 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 me. You find a way. So I can see it again. See, I feel like we should go to Foresight and talk to the guy at the museum. Did you hear that music? That's why. That's why I think that. I'm gonna I'm gonna teleport to Foreside once I get out of here. Oh, oh shit. there you go. Hello, Hello. is this Mr. Fork at the Scrub Culture go. Museum? It doesn't sound like you. Well, I'll quickly tell you my story because I'm busy. 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 I found something so extraordinary in the mirror. Where's that? Do justice. What do you mean? Who am I? Don't you recognize my voice? It's me, Mr. Spoon from the Foreside Museum of Natural History. Look, Look Mr. Mr. Fork. I'm not exaggerating this find. I'm telling you, it's fantastic. It's outrageous. It's click click beep. beep beep. Let's do it. I wonder if it's a live dinosaur like he was talking about. You'd think, about. like, with people named Fork and Spoon, they would end up being, like, arch nemeses. Well, no, that there would be a knife. 
Oh, see, you haven't seen Teleport Beta. Oh, You've only seen, seen the alpha. one. Yeah, check what's, this what's out. What's Beta? I'll show you. Oh, so you don't even need to run? You don't need the fucking straight line. You just need enough space to make it through that, and then it zoops well, you that's off. That's nice. Yeah, it's a nice little addition. Nice little addition. Okay. Well, now that we're in force. Oh. Oh. Now that we're in force. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh. There it is. How Fuck. you feeling? How you feeling? <laughs> There's another one. There's another one. Well, now that we are um, in Ooh. here in where am I? You're in Foresight, dude. I know. Where's the map? Where's the museum? Oh, it's down here. Damn it! Now that uh, now that we're in Foresight, I'm gonna head to the museum, and I think that's gonna be the end of the episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in next time when we head to the museum and see what uh, what Mr. Dice Spoon robots. found, dude. Ooh. He found Mr. Yeah. Knife in the oh, yeah. in the laboratory with, uh, with the with the candlestick. With the candlestick. <laughs> In the in the the rope, in the gun, in the lead pipe, because he was indecisive about what he wanted to use to kill somebody. So he brought all the weapons. Yeah, he just brought a duffel bag full. Just a duffel? He had a duffy of. Uh, you never know. <laughs> of it's assorted like how, like. how do I want to kill you? I haven't decided. He, he left his house. And he was very indecisive. Revolver, candlestick. Like, fuck! I don't. I don't just know. Just like grabbing things off the shelf. I don't know. And putting I, them into if, the bag. I, if I take the one. Then, who knows, by the time I get there, I might change my mind. Well, I was thinking about that in Do a whole different like, thing. Yeah, like, why Why are all of those things readily available in this house? Uh, Who's, like, got, like, a length of rope just, like, hanging out in the Well, study? I can understand. Well, see, I think also with the with the weapons, it's, yeah. like, a candlestick. That's not going to be in the bathroom. Right. Candlestick's you know? not going to be in the bathroom. Or, like, not you know, usually. Or, not like, usually. rope. Or, like, rope. You're only going to keep rope, like, in certain places. Yeah, exactly. It's not going to be, like, in the billiard room. Gun. Wherever you have your gun rack. True, if you've got When your ex girlfriend makes it and then she wants you back when she builds a gun rack, like in Wayne's World. It was obscure. obscure. You remember that? We brought Clue, so and, you, so Clue you. and Wayne's World yeah, together in it. one reference. Yeah. Uh, bye, everybody. The other day, a rich kid came by Summers by helicopter. He also took a picture of the hieroglyphs. Yeah, I got lots of money from him. <laughs> Dude, battle time. You get to see Pooh in action. Get to see Larry in the action. Shat uh, Larry, sorry. Who the hell's Larry, Pooh? I don't know. Poo-poo platter. Poo-poo platter. Who names, a, who names a kid Pooh?